What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to today's YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of my thoughts for Madden 18, some of the things that are going to you're going to want to take some notes on uh, just to kind of help you guys prepare for the launch because uh, we are in full uh, preseason mode basically for Madden 18. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what I expect the game to be. So. A lot of talk about Madden 18 is some of the research I've been doing, and what you'll find, guys, uh, when you get into this, is most people, most 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 people, when they when they talk about Madden 18, Madden news every year, it's the same stuff. Everybody wants to you know kind of game plan, uh, and the problem is what people don't understand is that the same things pretty much work every single season, um, without doubt. Shotgun bunch has been effective since Madden 11. Uh, and probably even before that, but that was as, as long as I've been using it. The reason I say that um, is because I don't want you guys to get bogged down by the game uh, as you kind of look at it. They're, they're adding in a lot of new things. What I am really excited about, though, for Mad 18 is the long shot story mode. It looks pretty good. Uh, it looks similar to kind of like a my player or my career thing for NBA 2K. Uh, but anyways, that does look like a really impressive, um, impressive little thing. Uh, Mutt Squads is good, uh, but in my opinion, it doesn't really, it'll be fun to do with your friends, but not something that's going to be very competitive. Uh, you know, it's, it, again, it's just kind of something, I think it's really cool, like, it's kind of like online team play, um, so very similar, uh, but with Mutt players, which I do like that, I like the fact that they're going to do uh, a little bit different method there. Um, the one thing that I did want to touch on a little bit as we kind of look to Madden 18 is... For me, I kind of think in schematics a lot. I try to figure out what's going to work versus what isn't going to work. Um, but the majority of what I what I wanted to talk about today is play styles. Um, and so here's the thing. For those of you guys that are watching this video, the majority of you guys are trying to be the best players you can be. You know, that's really why I do my videos, and that's, that's the whole point of it. And the coach adjustments, the, the coach adjustments feature is is going to be interesting to see how that works into your game plan how if it helps if it doesn't uh target passing is interesting uh, i think that i don't know it'll, it'll be interesting to see because the the problem with target passing that i kind of foresee is that it just seems like uh, let me just kind of read you uh, a little bit here so it's a it's a control control scheme that's supposed to help you place the ball in the most advan advantageous positions. Uh, the better players are at utilizing the target passing mechanic, then they say that the more efficient and tactical they will become at picking apart coverage. The ability to visualize the placement of the ball exactly where you want offers another level of user control. So I'm excited for that. Um, I don't really know how much it's going to help. To me. Uh, they had a feature in, and I, I think it was in Man 13. Uh, the problem was that someone like me, I don't always see how they differ from year to year. I feel like the game plays majorityly, uh, for the most part, it, it, it plays the same. The difference is in the little bitty nuances. So, like for target passing, it, it talks, it talks about that we're going to be able to see where the ball is going. We're going to be able to lead shallow routes upfield, uh, place ball between zones, lead the ball. All these different kinds of things. The only thing that I'm worried about is how complicated is it going to be? Because it looks like here you're going to have to hold left trigger, um, and then you know it just it just seems like a lot of extra steps. Um, and the, a couple years ago, I think it was Madden 13, they had pass lead. I think that's what they called it, which is basically what this is. The only difference really is that this is a little bit more complicated to me. Um, so I might, I might just play with it off, but, you know, kind of jury is still going to be out on that, and it'll be out on that for a little while. We'll have to see some different tactics. I do think whenever they put a new feature in the game, though, what it's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to expand your knowledge, uh, expand your tactics. Like, for example, this season in Madden 17, uh, with the way the playmaker has changed, uh, my opinion is it's changed for the, I would say, for the worse. Uh, I just don't think it was a good move because it just takes, I don't know, I just think Playmaker is just a valuable piece of the offense, and when you take that away, all of a sudden, everything, all the offenses become the same, essentially. So, 
like I run bunch. I think a lot of people run bunch this year. Um, but people what don't understand is that, you know, you can run bunch every year, no matter what plays, it's always going to work because the formation is good. But, uh, anyways, with, with like for this season, the precision move, like there's that I really hope they fixed in this next year is like the ability to actually be good as a, as a running back again. I feel like this year it's very, very bad. Like, I just, I don't know why, but I just felt like Madden 17 was just terrible when you talk about running the ball uh, from this from the standpoint of trying to break tackles, trying to, like, spin moves don't work, juke moves don't work, like, nothing works. <laughs> like So, like, the only move that really does consistently even break a tackle is the uh, trucking move. That's, that's it. That's the only move I've seen that's been able to consistently work uh, when you're looking at when when you're looking at how it does against actually breaking a tackle because at the end of the day you want to break a tackle you want to get going so so anyways that's uh, kind of my thoughts on that but again the dynasty mode it's it's actually you know what I what I do want to do is I would like to make uh, like an online franchise or something and play with subscribers so if you guys are interested in that let me know and I can kind of look at what it would take to set something up like that. Um, that's something that actually really does interest me a lot because I think it's a good way to build community, play together, build your team. Like, I really do miss that. I miss online franchises. So I really hope – I think I think they have that. Um, I, but I, I don't know. We'll see. I think online franchise is really a big piece of the game that I would like to get back into. I think just because of my schedule, um, you know, with different things, I haven't been able to sit, sit down and really get into one. But looking to definitely get back into that, that's going to be something to me that is really, 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 really powerful for number for two things. Number one, it's freaking fun. Like there's just no way around it. Building a team, playing against guys, that's really, really you know enjoyable. But even more importantly, what I think it does is it allows you to instead of just playing random people online, it allows you to control who you're playing so that you're actually playing against quality opponents. Uh, again. You know, quality quality is relative. You know, quality to what? But I think you know, compared to you know Joe Schmo that's just playing online. Like normally, online franchises, in my opinion, had pretty good competition. Uh, at least just from the standpoint of you know, I thought just the competition level was a lot better. Um, but I don't know if they're gonna. The, the one thing that is interesting, I don't know if they know. I don't know if you guys know this or not. The question for me is, what does that do to the competitive scene? Uh, what what does that do to qualifying for tournaments, things like that? Because uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, a, a thing called road road to the top, uh, road to champion or something like that, where uh, you're it's basically gonna be tracking my progress as I try to rank up the ladder, and and we're gonna do that on the channel. So I'm excited for that, and we'll do that for Man 18. We'll just track you know how I'm doing, uh, you know my winning games, losing games, what's my rating, how many games am I playing a day. That, those are some of the metrics. So we'll, we'll break that down together, and I'll show you guys how to go from, you know, beginning of the season all the way throughout the season, a whole whole season worth of videos, uh, that basically will show you exactly step by step what I do, to uh, be one of the better players in the world. So I'm hoping I can reach, you know, way up in the top, and we'll see. We'll see what happens. So Brett Favre just threw a dot on the run. Because he's a gunslinger and that's how he does it. But yeah, guys. So, so anyways, that's kind of some of the things that I'm thinking about. Um, one other thing that will be interesting to see what they do with gameplay wise. When and I don't know, I don't know yet. I, I feel like you can't really know until the game comes out. Um, there's a lot of people that like to speculate and they like to try to tell tell you, you know, uh, corner routes are going to be the way to play, or post routes are going to be the way to play, or drags or whatever it is. You know, there's always something. Um, but what I'm going to be interesting to see is, is if in the red zone post routes are still good, like high points. I, I really do wonder because, like, that's the majority of everybody's red zone offense this year. And while it's not terrible because it does real, I mean, what else are you going to do on the goal line? Um, you, you know, outside of run the ball, but you can't run the ball in Madden this year anyways. Like, I've, I have yet to come up against someone who's actually sat down and really gotten me good with running the ball uh, because of the way the, the game the game mechanics this year – like, you just can't break a tackle, man. Like, there's just no – it is very unforgiving. I think it's also because, like, in years past, you know, they're trying to basically fix everything that was wrong the year before in the next game. Um, so I don't know if that's the right approach or not, but that's the approach that they use. But uh, but anyways, 
the reason I'm saying that is because if that's the case, then what they'll probably do is they'll probably try to nerf a lot of the things that were good in this game. So they may nerf, they'll probably nerf cover two defense. They'll probably they'll probably try to fix. Uh, I think someone had told me they're already working on trying to fix Z spot because everybody and their mother runs Z spot um, after skin after they watch Skimbo do it. Which again, to me, uh, you know, I've been running Z spot since Madden 11. So that's that's where it's just a good play you know it's, it's not about bragging or whatever it's just a good play but they will probably do that they'll probably nerf some of the things that we you know we would have used to you know overuse in madden 17 so they'll probably nerf post routes which do will add a whole nother element of the game they may you know, but the problem is when you when you try to fix like when you fix one thing it leaves you vulnerable to something else so if they make defenses really e uh, effective at shutting down post routes then whatever, you know, user streaks might be back or slants might be back. That's kind of the way the game, that's kind of the way it goes every year. Um, in my opinion, they'll fix something and then they'll, it'll leave something else open. Um, and it's always the same couple of things that they'll fix. So that like they might fix the, uh, the power O and might try to make that run not as effective against cover two. I, you know, I'm just trying to throw things out there, but I'm sure they'll probably fix the, nickel blitz two um the, the, you know they'll probably try to make sure that the nickel blitz two doesn't work anymore uh let's see i'm trying to think of other blitzes they i heard they they'll probably fix cross man even though cross man to me was like the greatest thing ever i felt like it was a really good way to play defense i didn't i don't think it should be nerfed but um I don't know. I, I personally, I don't even use it very much, but I think it's just a genius way. I think it was a really smart way to, to, to do something. Uh, but I think what EA Sports will probably do is they'll probably tone that down a little bit because they what they want to do is they want to make the game as user-friendly as possible. But what the problem is, is when you make it as user-friendly as possible, then it, it takes away some of the competitive advantages you get for playing the game for several hours a week or several hours a month or whatever, you know. So, you know, that's kind of the that's kind of the rundown, though, on my thoughts about Madden 18. I think the story mode is going to be awesome. I, I would like to do kind of some kind of series on it and just kind of mess around with it a little bit. Um, there's just all kinds of things this year that they are going to do. I think the competitive game will continue to improve the more that they get repetitions, the more that they get – uh, feedback from this season, that kind of thing. I'm pretty sure that that will be something that's around for a long time. So I'm actually looking to get back into the competitive world, uh, maybe playing some tournaments or something. We'll see how that goes. But uh, that's kind of my thoughts on Madden 17 right now. So uh, what you want to do, though, guys, is ba make sure that you don't plan on, don't spend a lot of time right now trying to figure out what exact plays or what formation you're going to use. What you want to do is try to figure out, um, you know, what are some good football principles that I can carry over into the next game. So that's kind of the, the big picture stuff. So, but guys, if you if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful to you as you kind of prepare for Madden 18, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because that way you're going to get access to all of our content, all of our videos, all of our tutorials. We got guides coming. We've got new video series on the way. Just all kinds of stuff. So I'm really excited uh, to see what all is going to happen. Uh, for, for Madden 18 this year as Brett Favre just makes one of the greatest plays of all time. Just sheds off a tackler and throws a dot for like 30 yards. But anyways, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel and then do me a favor. Uh, if you know someone who should be watching this channel and is not, be sure to send them a link of my channel. Uh, be sure to let them know that they need to check out the channel if they want to get better at Madden NFL football. Thank you guys for your time and we'll see you next time.